Here is my buddy's FAR 395 sailboat. It's a 40 foot boat. You'll notice it's pretty big, so there's no trailer eye in the front, right? This, this down there could be considered it, but this is actually where the bobstay connects. This pole comes out. So that is a strong point you could connect to to tow it, but you would not want to. You see this cleat? This cleat, make a bridle. It comes out to about, you know, out in front of the boat, and then you can tow it from there. That's how you'd want to tow this boat. And there's other ways to tow it as well. I want to show you connection points here. So we're going to come around. What could we connect our tow line to? You could connect it to the mast right around. See where that white tape is? You could connect it there. You can connect it to a chain plate, has through bolts and backing plates. You could connect it there. It's common to connect it to winches, basically any winch you can pull a sailboat by. See we have these secondaries up here. These winches are good to pull a sailboat by. And then in the stern, doesn't look like they have any there's not really any cleats back here. So winches are through bolts and backing plates. They're very substantial. Winches, winches. You have right by the mast step here. You could pull it from there if you wanted. Like if you were so inclined, put it here. And then where you would end up actually pulling from if you're pulling from the bow, are these cleats. Put a line between both cleats and then attach your tow line in front of that so you're pulling nice and symmetric. So how would we halyard pull this thing? This right here, this is the main sail. It's connected with the halyard. The halyard connects to the head of the sail up here, but see it's back here. This is the halyard. This is the main halyard. It's that dock, it's holding up the sail, it goes all the way up this gigantic mast. Right there, it connects. So if you pull from the top of the mast, it's gonna pull the whole vessel over. It's gonna lean over, it's gonna heel over, just like you were sailing. I'm gonna go connect the main halyard of this thing and show you how it would work. And now you can see we are connected to the main halyard. Look at this. So when we pull, we're effectively pulling from the highest spot on the boat. It's, it's going to give us torque. Length times force equals torque. We sure have a lot of length, don't we? So that torque is going to pull this vessel over. So that's where we pull a halyard tow. And you can see 
what's happening here. When I pull on this halyard, and that was just me simply, yeah, that's just, that's me simply pulling medium hard from the halyard to the top of this mast and yet the entire boat's rocking. You're using that mast as a giant lever to heel that boat over like it were sailing and that will lessen the draft because the keel goes out sideways. So hopefully you pull it sideways enough that it can slide off the bar or the reef or whatever it's on. I mean, sometimes these are gonna be harder ground and it's not gonna work, but if it's softer ground and, it, and the tide's falling or something, you can get a line on the main halyard of a sailboat, pull on it slow and steady, it'll heel over, and then you just, you can pull it into deeper water. Be aware, I consulted with a professional in the field and he said, if you halyard pull a smaller sailboat too long and too hard, it will heel it over so far, water will come in the cockpit, down flood and sink the boat. So be aware of how hard and for how long you are pulling on the halyard of a smaller sailboat. He also mentioned that a large sailboat like this, if it's, if it's leaned over a long time, uh, like quite a bit, and it gets to deep water fast, it will snap back and it can have some unexpected forces to the towboat. There's a lot of lead under these boats and they could snap back quickly. So this is a little bit of an insight into how you're doing.